Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market has been balancing in the upper part of yesterday's range with sellers active near that 3849 resistance and buyers active at the 3808 quarter to 15 quarter area. Now, heading into the open, our short term bias is going to be neutral. And that means that we have to be more flexible and open to the market moving in either direction. And early in the session, how the market behaves at the 3808 quarter to 15 quarter initial support and the 384775 to 5775 initial resistance is going to help determine and set the bias on the day. If we can get a successful breakout above initial resistance on broad market strength and sustained upside momentum, that would serve as an intraday bullish confirmation and it could result in upside rain expansion into the resistance areas above. On the downside, if we get a break and hold below initial support on broad market weakness and sustained downside momentum, that would serve as an intraday bearish indication. And as long as the breakdown is happening on some heavy downside momentum, it could be a sustainable breakdown and lead to downside range expansion and a break below 3794 quarter to 3801 quarter would just confirm that the market is indeed putting in an intraday balance breakdown pattern and that could eventually take the market lower into 3779 to 83 as well as 3759 to 69 where buyers can be active on first test and a break below 3759 would be yet another sign of intraday weakness and from there ES can test the bottom of balance at 37.48 quarter to 51 quarter and 37.34 half to 46 half and on the downside that is the larger time frame area of support where buyers can still defend and we would need to see trend down type internals in order to take that area out and a break and hold below 37.34 half to 46 half would serve as a bearish confirmation across multiple time frames. So again, heading into the open, our short term bias is neutral. The market has been balancing in the upper part of yesterday's range. And as long as buyers can hold ES above initial support, ES can continue to consolidate above that area. But in order for us to get an intraday bullish confirmation, the market would have to take out the initial resistance zone. And in order for the intraday bias to become bearish, ES would have to take out the initial support zone. And in between, our bias can remain neutral. So that is the plan heading into the open. Let's see how the real time situation shapes up and how the market deals with the initial support and the initial resistance zone. That's going to help set the bias and tone on the day. And we'll take it from there.